the second part of stage six. If you thought the creepy stalker rapist coffin was bad, you haven't seen anything yet. Those hands in the walls will grab you, and then those sword dudes, well, you can guess the rest. Those men feel they have a, an absolutely fantastic job shoving their iron dick into yours and spending their entire existence waiting for that moment. They live solely for this. They do not move from that spot. And those hands, same thing. They are there for that one singular purpose. Imagine a workforce or imagine people so devoted boggles the mind and here this is fancy and cutesy but certainly no threat to you and I certainly don't want to know what happens if you get a little closer one of those things is creepy enough And yes, the table, anything in the foreground that looks like you might be able to touch it. Anything. I don't care what it is. It can be a pack of Trojans on the ground. It probably will grow fangs and try to kill you. This is a haunted castle after all. Now, this part is somewhat annoying. They aren't tremendously difficult, but I wasn't going near slow enough, so I was getting my ass kicked needlessly by them. They do move somewhat oddly, but definitely in a noticeable pattern. And they do a fair amount of damage. You don't want them to touch you. You do not want to have a threesome with the undead. There is, you know, there is such a thing as getting disease from having intercourse with a rotting corpse. Let alone two who are already having intercourse. God knows what that breeds. And then you get to these two. I hate these bosses. They follow you fairly effectively. They dance around the room, and while all the graphical effects were very cool, the awkwardness of their movements and the strange collision detection that they have, they don't have to quite touch you to hit you. And they do a lot of damage. This is the one time that you are allowed any form of necrophilia. You may drop your balls on them. 